Welcome to Second Opinion, the reviews show here on the Nexus. Today, Ian Arbuck and Ryan Rampersat will be sharing their experiences with Allo and Duo. Find the show notes for this episode at thenexus.tv slash SO9. So a bit of background before we get to our review review. What the heck are these two things? Uh, Allo and Duo are a couple of messaging apps that Google announced at Google I.O. in June? June of yes. 2016. Yep. And uh, and then they released them in fall. Uh, Duo came out first and then Allo came out uh, on the last day of summer, September 21st. Barely made their promise there. Mm-hmm. And uh, so Duo is a video calling app and Allo is an instant messaging app. Okay, so on to the reviews. There's not much to say about either one of them, so we're lumping them both into one episode, and also partly because they share a lot of things in common. They were also introduced together. Right, yeah. And they fill each other in. Yeah, 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 because they they would be incomplete without having the other's features. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Uh, Okay, so things that they have in common. Uh, They're both available on Android and iOS. And nowhere else. Not even on desktop. Or, yeah, or, mm. or website, you yeah. know, as as Google would most likely do it for the so, desktop solution. So I would say that's not a good thing. No, that's definitely not a good thing. Because um, my kind of guiding star for consumer-facing things is I have to have it available on, like, every single device that I could possibly touch. Right. Uh, within reason. So, like, what's the golden standard of that, uh, in your opinion? Android, iOS, and web. Well, I know, but like, what's a, what's a thing that is that already? Oh, sure. Um, let's just go with Gmail. Yeah, that's what exactly. <laughs> when I was thinking about it, Gmail, of course, is my default. That is everywhere. I mean, mm-hmm. you can you can even map Gmail sort of in a hacky way to like a mail client on just iOS, in, right? You know, generic form. Of course, you can mm-hmm. use the actual and, app, and that comes from. It being an email client, right? Sure. Is that, you know, you can IMAP and, and get sure. it on other things. And they, you know, that's not my problem. Mm-hmm. Make a protocol. Make it open. Um, I Like, if you want to go above and beyond, you can be like Facebook and actually put it on the Windows store, at, you know, yeah. and, and make it available on Windows phones and stuff like that. That's, you know, that's a little niche. That's, you know, but that's why it's going above and beyond, right? It's going be- above and beyond and sort of the other side. Yeah. Well, it's not going as far as, like, putting on BlackBerry. Holy cow. BlackBerry? BlackBerry. (laughs) So, yeah. So, it is a little bit concerning to me that it's only available on Android and iOS. Actually, by a little bit, I mean it's a lot concerning. Maybe it's forthcoming. Uh, I, uh, did, have they said anything about that? So, I mean, I can't imagine Duo ever being like that. Like, what's the point? Well, the point is that my mom doesn't have a smartphone. Sure, I know. But then why not use Hangouts? Exactly. Well, that's oh, that's what I'm saying. Wait, I think that's the whole point of this episode. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. So, oh man, we we uh, we what, showed what, our cards too early here. The cards were already drawn and <laughs> dealt. So I, I I beside being just for Android and iOS, that's fine, I guess. If you live this completely mobile only lifestyle, mm-hmm. and oh well, if it doesn't have desktop support. Okay. I mean, imagine imagine you just didn't have a desktop. It's it's also even if you are in this mobile only world, it's missing a couple of things that are really important, mm-hmm. uh, such as like synchronizing between different devices. Yeah. So let's talk about the fact that they tied this thing to your phone number, right? Mm. So to avoid the kerfuffle of people having to like make Google Plus accounts and having all that tied in, sure. uh, which is I guess what they identified as like the biggest thing holding Hangouts back. They they tied this whole thing to your phone number and everybody who's in your phone contacts list, those are your contacts in each of these apps, right? The problem with that, of course, is that they built it so you can only have each of these apps on one device at a time, right? So I can't have Allo installed on my phone and on my tablet. Wow. And have the messages go, you know, be synchronized and everything. It's it's built just to be like one device one to one it's ridiculous okay well that pretty much makes it useless yeah pretty much and also Um, i mean on top of that they they didn't make it for tablets at all like when i try to install it on my shield tablet it straight up says this is not compatible with this device um i was able to get it on the school ipad it looks awful right because it's the it's the scaled up Yeah. yeah 
So I guess again, I guess I would say it's probably forthcoming, the the tablet support. But the it is so. Do you do you remember BlackBerry? Yeah. So I can't believe that we mentioned them twice in this episode already. So it's funny that you mentioned that it's tied to one phone number at a time because one of the reasons BlackBerry lagged for so long in introducing their tablet um, support um, and you know and you know opening up their system was that for the longest time their entire stack was only program to assume that your credentials ever could exist on one device at once oh wow and so that was one of the major limitations and so here we are again doing <laughs> it wrong so i love your comment here mm-hmm. you have people's email addresses sure all over the place mm-hmm. but very rarely than their phone numbers right and, and that might be a you kind of I thing i think yeah i feel like that's me but i but i share that sentiment too mm-hmm. like i don't know anybody's phone number at all yeah and like I don't think it would be too much to ask for it to be like either or. Mm-hmm. Can I can I add people by their email address or their phone number? And then when you sign up for Allo, when you when you create your account, like right. put in your email address and your phone number, and then people can find you either way. I mm-hmm. feel like there are other messaging apps that are sure. already work that way. I mean, doesn't Facebook like work like that? Yeah, I mean, effectively, much. you sign up with an email address, but you can tell your phone number to it. Mm-hmm. So yeah. you also mentioned that you know one of the drawbacks of Hangouts potentially was the Google Plus integration. Sure. Well, I mean that's silly to me because you have to sign up for a Google account in general, and if you have an Android phone, you pretty much have a Google account. Right. But people kind of view the whole Google Plus thing as separate from just having a Google account because uh, when you sign up for a Google account by default, it's not a Google Plus account until you set up your profile. Right. And so sure, Hangouts is bad because it is tied to Google Plus, but they could have just decoupled that and this mm-hmm. issue wouldn't exist. Yeah. I mean, they rebooted Hang- Hangouts was a reboot of Google Talk right. already. And so why couldn't they reboot Hangouts to have the good new yes. uh, features that in- are introduced in Allo and Duo? Right. And, you know, there could evolve. be some. I-, I suspect there are deep technical reasons. But sure. Yeah. Yeah. So should we get into some of these, like, Yes, actually good things that are about these apps there's like five so yeah all right so let's talk about allo first so the biggest thing that they introduced that everybody was excited about is that it integrates the new google assistant right um which is a like the main feature of the upcoming google home device and they they built it in here as like a person that you can that you can chat with right so kind of analogous to the the voice activation on your android phone that like acts like it's a person that you're talking to this is like a person somewhere out there who you're text messaging and then they you know send messages back to you and i i kind of like that because it's it's they're basically admitting that most people don't want to talk to their phone all the time to get stuff done and and like messaging is what people already do with their phones all the time right Mm -hmm. so it's like it feels natural to use that as the conduit for talking to the Google Assistant. Yes, I agree. That makes sense. Um, one of my friends decided to go work at Facebook, and I said, well, have fun with that. But <laughs> before he left, I, I told him, you know what would be really cool? What if you could chat with a Facebook bot that just was Facebook? Mm-hmm. And you could just tell it stuff, and you know, you just talk to it. But what if it like remembered you and actually talked to you? Wouldn't that be wonderful? Because you don't have any friends because you <laughs> aren't Facebook. Anyway, so I think that's cool, but it's really weird that they put this really cool thing you can interact with in this one tiny little app, and it's not even like the entire app's purpose. It's just the side feature that you can use sort of if you want to sort of. Yeah, I get the feeling that the Google Assistant isn't quite ready for prime time yet, um, and that's why they put it in here as kind of like a preview does it feel to you like this would be the the evolution of the Google bar just on the home screen? Yeah, the Go- Google Now and everything yeah. is yeah. Yes, I do. Yeah. Mhm. And I don't know like if the the card stack, the the stream or whatever that they have on Google Now, uh I don't know if that necessarily needs to be tied to the assistant. I mean, it could as, be. It could be. I mean, you you know, instead of talking to it like when you hit the thing, you mm-hmm. know, the little microphone instead of talking to it, you just type to it. Right, yeah, or or given the option of either or sure. kind of thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it, it'll be interesting to see like once they start. I assume that they're going to start kind of building it out into broader parts of Android and other Google apps that they make available. 
because like they're they're bringing it to the Google Home right as its right. central feature. So it wouldn't make sense for them to not do the same with Android because like I'm not always at home right. But if I if I need to get this kind of information quickly, I'd want to have that available to me in my pocket. So once they start doing that, it's like will will Allo actually have any of its unique appeal? I'm gonna go with pretty much no. Probably not, and maybe uh, maybe that's okay because nobody wants it. Yeah. Yeah. So have you ever tried to like set a setting with the assistant? No. So I just I just asked it to set my alarm for 8 p.m. and it tried to. Uh huh. Did yeah. it? Did it succeed? Yeah. Okay. So, oh oh, are you okay? I wasn't thinking of that as a setting. Well, sort of. Kind of. Yeah. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. I like that. So I yeah, I would expect all of the like uh, voice command things. To be available as... Uh, and that's why I don't like it in the app. That should really just be where the voice thing is. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so hopefully, yeah, hopefully this is an indicator of things to come. Yeah, the my experience with the, the Google Assistant has been kind of limited. Because uh, I haven't, like, I haven't tried to do a whole lot with it. I had a conversation with it, like, on day one. Yep. And uh, in while, like, asking about the weather for tomorrow, it was like, hey, do you want me to, like, tell you the weather every single morning? And I'm like... Yeah, actually, that would be really useful because, like, if I'm biking to work and mm-hmm. I need to know, like, is it going to rain in the afternoon kind of thing, I don't always remember to check that right. myself because I'm dumb. Mm-hmm. Uh, but my phone can Your remember assistant. to – my assistant, yes, can remember to send me a message right. every morning. And that makes sense. But then why isn't it just a card that pops up a notification? Why does it have to be this fake sentient thing? Yeah, well – I don't know. To me, people like fake sentient things. I don't. It annoys me. It it com- seems completely pointless. I would just prefer a card to pop up that says, "It might rain today. Watch out for cars." Mm, yeah, watch out for raindrops and cars. Yeah. Um. Side note: I just tried to ask it to change my Wi-Fi network to from Pi to Tau, and it said, "Sorry, I can't do that yet." Oh. I also tested it out. Uh, you know, I gave it to somebody who has a completely different uh, take on assistant kinds of sure. things than me. I gave it to my little sister because uh, she was like, can it like have a conversation with you with, like Siri? And I'm like, yeah, that's kind of the whole point. So I just handed it to her and to see what happened. Yeah. And uh, she ended up playing games with it a lot. That's cool. Yeah. It's got like a bunch of those Google Doodle games yeah. built in. So I think those are the ones that she mostly played. She didn't like uh, uh, do the do the interactive uh I don't know if Quiz it has games. it, but does it have like 20 questions? Oh, that's a good idea. That'd be a perfect thing for this. Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, it's Google. I mean, I'm sure they have. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They would win at that game so much. They have a deep matrix. <laughs> <laughs> if they can win Go, they can uh, they can figure out what I'm thinking. Yeah, they can even write Go. Yeah, so I'm, I'm looking forward to the Google Assistant being in more places. And so then I don't have to use it <laughs> just to see it. Uh, so how long are you going to keep this thing around? I'm probably going to install uninstall it as soon as we're done talking about it right here today. Oh man, that's a bad sign. <laughs> yeah, it is. I mean, when when some of your most uh enthusiastic fans <laughs> don't care about the thing you just launched at all, it's kind of kind of dead yeah. in the water. So the other kind of weird thing about Allo is that like, you know how you've got your contacts list and everything? Sure. It doesn't tell you which of your contacts have Allo yet. Or of course not. not. Why would it? Uh, and and the reason that it can get away with that sort of is because if you try to message somebody who doesn't have Allo installed yet, it will send them the message. If they're on iOS, it'll send them the message as an SMS, mm-hmm. and it'll have the content of your message, and then it'll have like a little thing saying like, "This was sent to you by Allo. Click on this link to go and install it." If you're sending it to Android, it it pops up as a notification yes. for them that seems like it's from an app that they already have installed, but they don't have Allo installed. Right. It, there's some voodoo magic that Google's so doing there. My understanding is if you have Android, it pops up a notification. I don't know what the, there's a technical term for that style, but it's a notification that drops down mm-hmm. and it looks like something you can interact with as if it was an app and, you know, on your phone already, but it's through the play store basically. Mm. And it's just using, you know, the Google push sure. thing yeah. to, to bring that notification back down. And that's a cool trick, but that's not the solution I was looking for. So does it does that take them to the Play Store to download it? To download it, yeah. okay. Now that that said, can I they th- reply without installing that? Because I know yes, that yes, you can reply without installing. Okay, good, good, good. Which is bizarre, also. I, 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 well, yeah. I, 
you know, one cool thing they could do is if you got that um, notification that first time, mm-hmm. and this is, of course, sort of abusive to the way the platform works, but you could also use the thing where, like, a, you know, the instant apps mm-hmm. um, tech so that, you know, you get the thing and then it just starts downloading in the background and by the time they click it, there it is. Yeah. Have fun. So then they have, yeah, yeah. the parts of Allo that are important for that message. The composing running. screen, I yeah, guess. Yeah, exactly. So that would be cool, I guess, but no, not enough. Yeah. And then, and as you said, on iOS, you just you don't get any of this fancy stuff no. because you can't do that on iOS. Cause, yeah, because they don't message. control the whole stack. Right. So yeah. neither does Google on Android, apparently. Uh, well, yeah, that's true. The only the only devices that I've seen it tested on are on Nexus Five Xs, where they do control the whole I stack. You were going to say fives? So, no, I it ha- it did take me a while to get out of the habit of stopping at five. Yeah, but I've I've gotten the hang of it now. So yeah, like I said earlier, it doesn't it it doesn't allow you to have multiple devices associated with your Allo account at once, and also w- when you switch accounts I, or when you switch devices, it doesn't take your old messages and give them to the new device, which really really sucks. So you know when I, when you tell me all this bad stuff about it, it's sort of like something somebody kind of cobbled together, you know, in a month. And, like, it was the first year out of college as a computer science student. Like, anybody could probably do this thing. Like, maybe without maybe without the assistant part. But the way it interacts with devices Dude, in the network, it's really not that good. Not just anybody can draw that twerking bowl. The what? The twerking bowl. Oh, right, sure. Yeah, yeah that's yes, okay. That However, the Allo team did not yeah. do that. No, they no. hired somebody to I twerk know. the bowl. I know. <laughs> oh dear oh man but yeah so the this this kind of blows my mind because like that I thought you were is, just gonna stop this kind of blows. <laughs> it, it really does um because like this that's one of the things that keeps me using hangouts despite the hang the fact that hangouts has not really evolved in years and years At and all. years you know i know that all of the messages that i'm sending with hangouts are being archived they're available to me through gmail in, i can search for them is, of course the most roundabout searching method of mm-hmm. course ever yeah you can't just go to hangouts.com i mean hangouts.google.com and search no way no of course not yeah no. <laughs> um but like well I, i'm kind of used to it because i've been around since the days of google talk which where was still a hack back you, then I yeah mean, let's let's be clear but like but like you were supposed to uh, uh, access that through gmail anyway which was or, a hack yeah. i mean that that was never supposed to be the way it was really yeah oh. i mean that they just they just never did it okay a better way yeah. Interesting. But okay. yeah, I mean, the, so that's the way that I've always done it. So I like searching for it on Gmail is just kind of, I'm used to that already. Sure. So it, it seems kind of crazy to me that they can't even propagate these old messages to a new device because they are keeping the messages. Right. In yeah. On their servers so that they can improve their like smart reply feature. Hey, by the way, we didn't talk about smart reply. It's, it, it ha- gives you suggestions for words. Yeah. Yeah. For, yeah. And I like that. It, it's, it's cool, but. Okay. I've I mean, been a fan of that since they introduced it in Inbox, eh. which you also don't use. No. Again, I don't. I don't have any need for AI to tell me things. I, you know, it it quickens my responses, eh. and and then I don't have to tell, think about them as much. Um, you don't have to think about saying yes or no yeah, or right. maybe or kind of mm-hmm. or never, like one word responses. Sure. I mean, has it has it provided <laughs> you non uh, one word responses? Yeah, a couple. Where, yeah, it'll give me, like, a, 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 the option of, like, either saying okay or okay and then one more thing. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> yeah, it's not that much. Yeah, speaking of replying and replying quickly, you know what Allo doesn't have? Quick reply. It doesn't allow you to reply from the notifications in Android 7, which is insane. It's insane. Well, are, you sh- oh. are you sure what I said wasn't true? Like, just one guy made this in a month? <laughs> it's very possible. So... What did the other guy make in a month? How do you know there's another the, guy? Well, if, if I mean, if the one person was spending a month making Allo, somebody else had to make Duo. But but Duo came out a month earlier. So oh, that's true. That's true. Well, mm, what was that point. guy doing for a month? I don't know. Yeah, uh, let's talk about Duo. Yeah, let's talk about Duo. Which we hate a little bit less. Uh, a little. Yeah. Okay. Just I just feel like slightly. I feel like I hate it less simply because it didn't have the promise. Sure. Exactly. That's. That's a good way to hate things less, right? Yeah. Um, so what is Duo? It's one-to-one video calling. Boom, done. 
that's all that we have to say about it, basically. Have a good one. Oh, man. So, what's funny about Duo is that it implies that there's two. And there is. Yep. One and the other one. Yeah. And um, that doesn't sound like a video client, or it doesn't really sound like anything. The, the, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. So, uh, how was the audio quality? How was the video quality? Well, we will have some audio samples for that. Wow. That, that we'll insert right here into the show. Hello? How you doing? I'm doing pretty well. That was weird. I heard myself echo for a moment. Oh, well, yeah. The mix mine is probably doesn't feel good for you. <laughs> I love the uh, oh, that white balance on your on your video. That's great. Oh, here. Stare at the light, then. <laughs> oh, that's got to help. Here, stare at this bright white monitor. Hold on. Something just occurred to me. Can we switch the... Oh, yeah. You can switch the camera. Sure. Hey, I know yeah, where you okay. are. I, yeah, I decided to come over here instead of the uh, the living room because it gives me this nice, like, classy oh, yeah, background. The, it's like you're um, Chris Lacey doing one of his promo videos. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Except I hope, well, I probably don't have a better microphone than him right now, but goodness. Yeah. Hi, Alpaca. Hi. How you doing? <laughs> so, yeah, we're, I mean, admittedly, we're on the same Wi-Fi network right now. Sure. Um so it's not like we're t- testing this between Sweden and Minnesota. No, but I will um, tell you that there is still a significant delay. Like, I can hear you speak up there, and then it takes oh. seconds to get down here. Um, I The the video quality looks really good. Yeah. From Yeah. Um, um, so I'm, li- the- I'm listening to your audio through my 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, which the uh-huh. iPhone 7 does not have, but my OnePlus 3 that costs half as much does. And um, I will say that you sound pretty bad. Okay. Um, Here, I, okay. Here's an experiment. Uh, right now, you're you're hearing me through the microphone of my phone. Sure. Right, the built-in one. Yep. Um, which means that it's also probably like muting the microphone whenever you're talking, so yeah. that it doesn't hear that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna plug in my earbuds with the inline mic. Okay. Let's see how that works. Gosh, if I can even find this jack. There we go. Hello. Oh my gosh, you sound totally different. Keep speaking. Is, do I sound better or worse? Far, or sideways? far, far better. Okay, good. So uh, that's one lesson that we just learned. Whenever you are calling somebody, never, ever let the speakers talk to you and use the, the built-in microphone. Always use an external. Like, so your voice is a lot deeper now. And, of course, you'll, you'll hear this um, in the recording. But um, it also doesn't have all of the uh, crackling noises like when you handle the oh. phone, the mics probably get vibrated too directly, and oh, sure, sure, yeah, yeah. So I, I can just like, yeah, I don't hear anything. Well, it's amazing that I didn't accidentally hang up on you. I was impressed you didn't just throw your phone against the window. Hang on, why am I at the home screen again? Hey, you, I... <laughs> hey, you, 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 you just died because you turned to black and white. <laughs> there we go. Okay, uh, yeah, I think that was just the I left the app. Yeah. So it, yeah. Yeah, that's um, pretty funny. <laughs> uh I, why do i sound deeper though that's weird well i mean compared c- compare you know the, the the mics on the nexus 5 probably just don't have much bass pickup possibly yeah they also probably they, i mean they obviously have to have a lot more gain because they have to pick me up when i'm at arm's length right right whereas the inline mic is always going to be a couple inches away from my mouth yep so yeah this has been fun yeah sure totally <laughs> hi roxy well that's it i guess Yep. Hmm. I'll see. I'll see you in two seconds. Okay. Bye. <laughs> so, um, I remember we we did do one call once, and mm-hmm. it was just a video call. It was there fine. was nothing special or unspecial about it. No. No. I don't think I've done any more duo calling than that no, of one course that not. You and I did because, well, yeah, with duo they can't get away with like just sending text messages to people. You know, with Duo, sure. the other person that you're calling absolutely has to have the app installed. Um, is this one cross-platform also? This one's iOS and Android, yeah. Okay. That, they're, they're both just Android so, and iOS. So this one, um, you know, again, could utilize that, you know, instant app tech. So, like, if somebody wanted to do a Duo call with you, it could send you the notification. You would click it, and it would instant app it mm-hmm. to your phone somehow. That would be pretty cool. But... But why not just use Hangouts? The, you know yeah. the thing that's default or default installed on every Android device. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah, so I can sh- tell you right now, there are three people that I know who have Duo installed. Wow, it's a lot of people. And you're one of them. Yep. 
Uh, so that's yeah, it's not going very, not going very fast. I feel like I'm I'm disappointed by the fact that they decided to just have it be a one on one. Like there yeah. isn't even the option no. of adding more people to the call because that was one of the big features of Hangouts when yeah. it came out was like, hey, multiple person video calls for free. And sure, there was a limit, you know, sort of like there was a yeah. What was it like? It was a capped at like eight people. Yeah. But was, when are you ever going to get to eight people? Yeah, that's fine. And if and of course people can rotate in and out with their administrative tools. Well, I guess they used to be able to. <laughs> Who knows now? Um, yeah. So. Um, there is, I guess, sort of one, two sort of cool things. The interface is really clean and simple, mm-hmm. but that's because it can't do anything, as mentioned. But the other thing is the knock neck feature. Knock neck, knock knack. Knock knack. Knock knack. Knock knack. Knock knack. Um, which is when you do a call to somebody else, it will show you to them first. Mm-hmm. And this is an idea that they stole straight from Snapchat. Which is a cool idea, except for, you know, all of the unwanted calls you're beginning. Yeah, so I think it. There there are some like restrictions on when it does this. Yeah. For example, like you can set I forget that if it's like you can set that it, it doesn't knock knock when you call people or that it doesn't knock knock when you're receiving calls. Mm-hmm. But I also I think it doesn't knock knock when you're receiving calls from people who aren't in your contacts list. Which is still not that helpful, I think. I guess. I mean it's it, it's gonna prevent me from seeing dicks from unknown uh but, phone numbers. But what about the people you do know? That's true. Right, that's what Goodness. I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, you're just drunk one night and it just happens. <laughs> I mean, it happens. Oh, and, and, and so it's not, it does not seem to me like it's a great idea. Sure, fine. Mm-hmm. But, but why? Yeah, I would, I mean, I would love it if this feature were just added to Hangouts, but I don't miss it when it's not in Hangouts, you know? It, 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 it it's, it's so close to being useful, but it's not. It's on the other side of the fence. <laughs> I'm pretty neutral about it. Maybe it's on the other side of the door, hence it's called knock knock. Oh. Mm. And and we just need to let it into our lives. Yeah, but we're not. <laughs> oh, so man. in conclusion. It's I Olo mean Hollow and Duo. You know, mm, gosh. There so, is no need for anybody to install these things. Either of them. On either platform at all. No. So one of the things that I've heard about lately is, you know, there's been various, you know, big news blog things trying to justify why these two things exist and you know justify their shortcomings and so for example duo allegedly is supposed to target india and the market there because everybody there uses whatsapp and so i don't know how that works because i'm I'm pretty sure you have to have a phone number for this thing to work right right so i don't know how that makes any sense because whatsapp doesn't use a phone number but it does oh it does okay yeah yeah so it it works the same way that you, your contacts list and, on your phone is the contacts list that WhatsApp so uses. So apparently what it's supposed to be targeting it for is well you use WhatsApp but it doesn't have video calling mm-hmm. so then do us supposed to fill in the gap. Okay. So and what's allo filling? The, the the gap that doesn't exist. <laughs> Gosh. So and like I said there are many blogger things that are trying to fill in the gap here of the explanation that Google isn't providing but because it is such a stretch to believe that Google is targeting, you know, this this Indian market with a billion people in it. Sure, fine, but they are blowing the 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 hard work they built with Hangouts, which is totally fine, just completely away for what reason? I mean, it just it their strategy doesn't add up. It, no, there's no yeah. amount of convincing a blog can do. The last thing that I need in my life is more messaging apps to keep track of. Exactly. You know, yeah, yeah. I wish I could just have one one messaging app to. End them all. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's what you and I, sitting in this room six years ago or five years ago, five years maybe, Nexus is that long. You what know, are you going for? When, when we were watching Google I.O. and they were about to unveil Hangouts. Oh, yeah? We all like, universal chat, yes. Yes. And then it's like, oh. Yeah. Anything else? No. Okay. No. Let's put these behind us so that I can un- uninstall them. Okay. That's good. Thanks for listening, everybody. This has been Second Opinion. If you want to contact us with feedback for this episode or for ideas for things that we can review in the future, or if you want to review something for us, go ahead and hit the contact link down below our faces there on the on the show notes page. Uh, again, that's thenexus.tv slash SO9. Alternatively, you can find us all over the internet. I'm Ian R. Buck. You can find me on Twitter or ianrbuck.com. And of course, you can find me just about everywhere, but especially at Rhinomar 
on the Twitter and on RyanRampersEd.com, which is where you can read all about me and everything else I do. Have a good one. Have a good one.